Every dog has his day. Okay, okay, I'm reloaded! <laughs> Raiders! We a nation of Raiders! It's a nation of Raiders! We a nation of Raiders! It's a nation of Raiders! We a nation of Raiders! It's a nation of Raiders! We a nation of Raiders! It's a nation of Raiders! Welcome to a new day, step up in the Oracle! Silver and black, you know we so historic! Many backbreakers, many chain treasures! The other teams only wish they could measure! Hello and welcome to another edition of the Inbounds with the Oakland Raiders. I'm Melinda Torgerson and joining us today is Kevin Burnett. Kevin is number 94 for the Raiders. He's, in his, he's entering his ninth year in the NFL and his first year with the Raiders. He actually attended high school at, I think it's Dominguez, is Dominguez that correct? High school, Dominguez right. High School in Compton and then later went on to attend the University of Texas. Oh, I'm sorry, Tennessee. Yeah, I'm yeah. messing you up. I am so sorry. The real burn on. Tennessee. That's right. So I know uh, while you were attending ten or Tennessee, you obtained two degrees. Right. Tell me about that. One was in business, and the other was sports it, administration. Both, both were in sports administration. Oh, it's, they were. Okay. It's a master's in undergrad. Wow, that's so. impressive. I also read you were on a roll. Yes. Twice. Uh, I think it was the SEC on a roll. How did you manage that and still? Play football. You, you go to school. To, you go to school to play football, and uh, it's not the other way around. You don't play football to go to school. So, I was uh, very privileged to get an athletic scholarship. And I wanted to take advantage of it and use it to get my degree. Wow, that's amazing. Thank you. So, back in high school, how did you manage uh, to balance sports and academics when you were young? It, it was stressed in the household. Uh, wow. the C's were not allowed, and they were not accepted. My mom always talked about, uh, you know, when you know better, you do better. So I'm teaching you right now. And that really stuck with me throughout. Excellent. Well, as far as um, nutrition, what kind of nutritional advice would you give students out there um, to keep their bodies in shape? And Well, the, the first thing it starts with, you are what you eat. So you drink water, you know, you're eating solid foods. You're, you're trying to stay away from the McDonald's, the Burger Kings, the fast food, because that stuff usually puts on the, the wrong type of weight. And it, it usually stays in, in your system for long periods of time. You want to eat foods that uh, metabolize quickly. You want to eat foods that produce energy. And, and that way it allows you to play longer, play harder, play faster, and ultimately play to your potential. Now, do you allow yourself a little bit of leniency of sometimes? Yeah. Of how course. do you how do you balance that? Like, uh, I mean, you, you can have a soda. Goals. You can have a soda every now and again. Uh, it's, it's, you want to balance everything. You don't want to have uh, too much liberalism without uh, some discipline, but you don't want to have too much dif discipline without liberalism. So you gotta you have a nice balance, um, more toward the, the stricter side than the lenient side, um, but you do have to have some balance. Good. Now, as far as exercise, what do you do maybe on a daily level to stay fit and in shape and maintain body weight? And well, right now during the season, we are out here running and practicing every day. Uh, but in the off season, you're usually working out between one and a half to three hours a day. And you may go, you know, shoot basketball, paintball, something like that, just to get your heart rate up on your days off. But you have to stay active, uh, whether it's playing tennis, baseball, basketball, you have to stay doing something in the off season to maintain your fitness level. Okay. Now, as far as injury prevention, what do you do to prevent injury? I know that's really important, especially with well, your job. I, I yeah. do a lot of, get a lot of massages. I usually get a massage two to three times a week. Uh, I drink a lot of water. Um, prior to competition, I usually get an IV before the game. Really? And, and you, you, depending on how hot it is, you probably should get one after. And you really, injury is, is, is something that's a lot of time is, is luck of the draw too. So you, you have to be lucky just to stay healthy at this point in your career. Um, you, have to, you have to obviously take care of yourself and, and you have to do the things necessary. Everybody's different though. Um, there is no one person that's the same as the next person. Correct. Well, that's good. Now, as far as um, advice to maybe a student who wants to further their education and do better for themselves, what advice would you give to them as far as pursuing goals and dreams? Well, the, the first thing is you need to get around people who are doing the things that you want to do. Uh, it's, it, you it's have no advice. business taking advice from somebody. If you want to go to college, you have no 
no reason to take advice from somebody who has not gone to college. They can't teach you something that they don't know. Uh, the, the second thing is listen. You know, a lot of uh, younger adults, especially this day and age, think they know everything it is to know about what they want to do. And that's so much, that's not the case. And uh, you have to constantly uh, want to better yourself at whatever it is that you're trying to do. And just, I was taught the first rule of knowledge is know that you don't know everything. And once you uh, focus on that and, and know that you don't know everything, you'll always want to learn. Wow. Now, um, as far as, sorry, I'm losing my train of thought there. As far as um, uh, peer pressure, did you ever encounter any peer pressure growing you're gonna, up from you're going students? To, you're going to encounter peer pressure. It's all about your response. Uh, you have to set your goals and know that once somebody presents something to you that's not in alignment with your goals, you got two choices to make. Either you give in to peer pressure or you don't. And uh, usually if you're a strong-willed person, if, if your goals mean a lot to you, then you know that, hey, this is not in alignment with my goals. This is not in alignment with what I want to do. And therefore, I'm going to choose to do something else. I'm going to choose to work toward my goal, and which is going to push me further away from what you want me to do. Now, did you have a mentor growing up, someone uh, you looked up to? You, or? you can take something from everybody. You can take something from everybody. It's all about uh, your interpretation and, and how you look at things. Uh, perspective is everything. And as, as long as you open your vision and as long as you continue to walk around with, with eyes open and understand that, hey, the way he's saying it may not be right, but what he's saying is right, then you can take something from it. But uh, a lot of times things get lost in interpretation. So. Like I said, you have to be open-minded and willing to know that you don't know everything. Now, I read that you are actually writing two books or have written two books on marriage. Tell us a little well, bit about that. It, it's pretty work, amazing. Well, it's, it's a constant work in progress uh, because you, you always see something that you want to change. Um, you, you, you're, like I said, you just know that you don't know everything. So you see something that you want to put in there. You see something you want to take out. Maybe that's not the message you want to send. Maybe that's not the way you want to say it. You're just constantly going through the editing process. And once, uh, once it's to a point that, that I'm satisfied with it, my wife's satisfied with it, then we'll put it out. Now, can you tell us a little bit about the Kevin Burnett Foundation? Um, or do you plan on right, bringing that out here? Right or? now, we, we focus on uh, education and literacy. And, uh, the reason it came about is because it took me seven times to pass the SAT and I still had a 3.5 GPA. It was the fact of not that I didn't know what was on the test, I didn't know how to take the test. Okay. And uh, I, had to, I, I had to know that I, I was smart enough to ask for help. And a lot, at this point in age or in this day and age, a lot of students are, are scared to ask for help. And uh, I wasn't too proud to ask for help. And, and now I want to be able to say, hey, look, this is what we're doing. This is there is a strategy to taking a test, and this is how you do it. And now you're giving kids an option to uh, better their lives. It's, and it's not for everybody. You know, I have a, a very strict policy on attendance. You know, we'll give you everything for free, but you got to come every day. If you don't come every day, you miss a day, you're out. And I mean, it. Wait for the <laughs> it's okay. We can probably hear you anyways. You're so polite. We have a very strict policy. If you miss, then you're out. Um, we provide lunch. We uh, provide the skills. We provide the books. We give you a book. We give you a uh, sample test. And it, it, all you have to do is go take the test and, and want to uh, discipline yourself and, and uh, apply yourself, and, and you'll pass the test. Nice. Now, I also read that family is super important to you right. and, and your children. Yeah. What, and what's it like uh, playing with your brother on the same team? I mean, it's, it's great. It's great. Not a... Yeah. Uh, I want to say 73 siblings have played in the NFL. 73 sets of siblings have played in the NFL. And I'm, I'm just proud to be a part of that. Um, I can walk around and say, man, you know what? Not only did I play in the NFL, but I played in the NFL with my brother. And that's, you know, only 73 that's siblings. I mean, that's, you know, you're talking, you know, 150 guys in the entire world. Yeah, that's amazing. Well, Kevin, it's been very nice talking with you, and well, we really you so much. we appreciate you being here. You gave great advice. Thank you. I'm Melinda Torgerson, and thank you for for another edition of the Inbounds with the Oakland Raiders. We'll see you next week.